and every generation a slayer is born. <laughs> She alone has the power to stand against the really? Her vampires, alone? the demons, and sure? the forces of darkness. Are you sure? She Bra is the slayer. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker think I can't find game for any literal show you oh. watch ever. Welcome everybody to the Game Boy Color edition of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> Welcome to Sunnydale. Okay, you know, viewers at home, you have to understand, um, this is my Harry Potter, oh. not the game. The show Buffy the Vampire Slayer is my Harry Potter. I'm gonna start a new game. I so absolutely game love this show. One afternoon, Buffy stops, stops by, by Xander. Xander's. Xander's what? Oh, that's, <laughs> Hi guys, that's, am I interrupting? Holy shit, foreground. Oh, look at that. Yes, Sexy please pixels. go away. <laughs> what? Oh, this Anya. Is, no, this is spoilers. You don't know about Anya. Oh fuck, who cares? I'm gonna forget. Remember how we greet friends? Oh right, hi Buffy, it's nice to see you again. Good, next lesson, sincerity. Now can we fuck? What's up, Buff? And that's that's what Anya would say. <laughs> Surprisingly little supernatural-wise, but it's early still. I'm sure there's some great evil preparing to ruin my day off. My, my day <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, this is class and weed and dialogue. Oh, ha, there's nothing like living on a hellmouth. Vampires, werewolves, hellhounds, the slayer's delight. I thought those things were all bad. Still, <laughs> not quite getting sarcasm, are we? Sarcasm is difficult. Why don't, are you a robot? What the fuck? She is a 1,000-year-old Swedish vengeance demon. Because then I lose my trademark witty charm. Not to <laughs> interrupt this fascinating discussion, but do you have any plans for tonight? Fucking. Post-boring graveyard patrol, anyway? Then fucking. <laughs> Graveyards aren't boring. They're she, where we fuck. She loves to fuck. And <laughs> sometimes Xander and I go by there at night by ourselves and... Birdwatch, yes, those wacky birds. Never a tall moment. Shut the fuck up. But getting back to tonight... <laughs> Are we, uh, bron bronze? <laughs> what is that? That is the club. Oh. The bronze. Oh. The <laughs> like, we're gonna Mickey D's it up. It's, it's a small. Okay. You know how we. We had it worse. We just went to the to Walmart. <laughs> At least they, they went had. to the bronzing. Okay, I gotta keep going. Well, it does have certain advantages, like being the only place in Sunnydale that isn't Dolesville. Yes, yeah, score oh, one Jesus, for the bronze. This is horrible writing. Uh, but that classic Whedon. I'll meet you guys <laughs> after patrolling, okay? <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Uh, oh, oh, that's my bay right there. That's standard walk cycle. Uh, bay can punch, bay can kick. Look at those legs, those tiny little legs. Oh, you're gonna be such a great Daphne Blake later. Uh, okay, and that's all. I can kick and I can punch. Can you stab with a, with I, a stick? I can pick up cola. Am I supposed? Okay, I have to duck to pick up the cola. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can God, I grab this? this? And oh, okay, up is the jump button. There we go. What, what an interesting oh, concept. Oh, oh, what the oh, fuck? Shit. Oh, that was a... I gotta fight Ghost Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were nice enough to give him a health Always bar being relevant me. to the... <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't gonna die for another 16 years. Ugh. Uh, this game... <laughs> this came out in oh, 1993, this, right? This is like season one choreography. Fucking this is pretty bad. Can I just kick it? I don't wanna leave. Nope, okay. We're gonna do a boss battle right you, now. Now, you see, this, this ghost represents the teenage angst of <laughs> Michael Jackson touching you, I guess, with the... It's the, the Michael Jackson touching you. The, 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 the monsters, they represented emotional problems of teenagers. And all, are all of them just like you getting touched? Uh, no. <laughs> what the fuck am I waiting for? Come on. These You're the one who brought up Michael Jackson, not me. Okay, okay. Can I, can I do combos? Sometimes she jumps and she kicks. Oh, I don't know. I can't, can't say that I've ever seen her do. Oh, now I punch. She's now very hippity-hoppity. And I, I can't punch while I'm doing the duckies. Oh, I hate that you I hate that you respond. That's literal bullshit. <laughs> Can we get if you, if you could do the like the Sarah Michelle of grunts and moans as she ah, fights. Oh, oh, there you go. Look at that sad boob. That's what a sad boob. Just... I'll have it. Okay, let's let's go. That's a sad <laughs> pixelated boob. Oh, let's go. This okay, if this is season this pro, I, this could be season 5. There's a reason why she has sad boobs. Aww. It's a sad boob season. Oh, sad boob season. You're like, mom has brain cancer. That oh, kind of that's it's called a family uh, family aneurysm shit. There's a, See, it's, this is 2000, so yeah, it would be season... Let me punch you like a dick! It wants me to remember things I don't know. <sighs> Could you please just kick his ass? There we go, Thank are we dead? God. Please be dead. God damn it. That was not the season Big Bad. Now I have to that was the first boss. That get was, that was, oh, I have that to was stab it. One. Okay, great. Uh, this, mo this show uh, started a trope called the funny aneurysm moment. Which is used, something is said, and fuck you, Michael Jackson. Which is something is said in the show, and then later, because of circumstances of the story, it becomes sad later. 
Like uh, they're talking about how <laughs> they're talking about how uh, how expensive school books are. They're like, oh my god, I'm gonna have an aneurysm. These things are so <laughs> these things are so expensive. Mom's gonna die. Okay, so you, when you knock him down, you can go eh, to stab with a stick. Yeah. What is this? Because it has vampire. Oh feeling. god, he's getting new dreads. Hey, get up! Don't suck on me. <laughs> That's for Angel and Spike. <laughs> <laughs> right, but there's a lot of okay. Uh, I'll give it to the the, the 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 group now. There's a lot of don't stab. <laughs> there's a lot of fan fiction about Buffy. Oh yeah, it's like like one of the early fandoms that the internet said, wait, we can do fan fiction. <laughs> like a staggering amount of fan fiction. Whoa, Some... it has many 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 characters, and you can find any combination of fucking you desire. I want Sarah Michelle Gellar and Seth Green. Oh, you got it, baby. <laughs> I want Sarah Michelle Gellar and Giles. You got it. I want Giles with an evil clone of Giles. <laughs> yeah, there's an episode where that. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's with really Xander, uh, but uh, I okay. want Xander and Willow. Oh, the show has it for you, but no, they never go all the way. <laughs> oh, though. damn it! But they cast sexy spells. Uh, I'm learning. <laughs> Why'd you laugh? Like, because the sexy spells is for the lesbians. I know. <laughs> lesbians gotta have good Josh Whedon writing too. <laughs> and I for those of you who don't know, in season four, probably around when this game was <laughs> developed. <laughs> The character of Willow, played by Allison Hannigan, meets a nice lady in college. Uh, jo Johnny, put on screen um, the next episode, the most recent episode that had come out when this game was released. And um, it'll be fun to watch later. And she meets this nice lady named Tara. But at the time, the network, I think the WB, was not quite ready to be uh, to have a character, a main character who was not just a special episode character, who was openly gay. And so the writers said, okay, it's, they're not gonna have sex. They're just gonna do spells together. <laughs> I love how I love how the blatant ass obvious rule patch, especially because and uh, it's like they're always, and of course, like they're always alone and they're cuddly with each other, and then occasionally they go in their dorm room and have spells, which cause them to get really sweaty and have major O faces. And they come out and they go, "Oh man, that was the best spell casting I've had in a long time." <laughs> it's like the one of the sexiest scenes of the entire season, and they they're perfectly clothed and they're just chanting Latin. Oh, you God, know. sweaty Willow, just... Oh. You're a really good actress, Allison Hannigan. I don't want this to become the Chauve show. <laughs> God damn it. Pick up the fucking piece of cola. Whatever, who cares? It's cola. Probably even not that good. What other episodes do you want to talk about? Oh, John, I could talk about this entire series. Uh, we talk about the... We talk about episodes that deserve to be on the same pedestal as Hush, but because Hush gets played at speech, uh lectures about okay. the power of communication. <laughs> My problem with, I find, okay, technically I find Hush impressive, but in terms of like, I find it a little overrated because it doesn't really have any um, narrative impact with the characters. It's, it's just kind of a very impressive episode that if you took it out of the series, nothing would change. It's a, it's a look at me, it's what's called a uh, concept episode. Yeah. Um, um, I, I recently, are you sorry, were you done? No, no, that's, that's, that's uh, so whenever, when, when, it, when Hush comes up, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good episode, but yeah, uh, people say similar things about, fuck you, I want to run. <laughs> people say similar <laughs> things about, uh, Bojack Horseman's quiet episode, Fish Out of Water, which does more because I think it's a better show than your show. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, it's tough to do concept episodes. Should they, oh, is there a, is, is there a, well, well, okay, well, let me give you an example. The other famous episode is frequently mentioned is Once More With Feeling, which is the musical, the musical episode. episode. But that episode is integral to the season, and there's major character development in that episode. I doubt it, but I, you're the no, big- No, 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 no. No, you're, you're a big enough fan that I think that you would vouch. <laughs> like, you wouldn't lie about your favorite show. I wouldn't lie about my favorite show. It's the episode where Buffy reveals to everyone that, uh, yeah, when you brought me back to life, uh, you dragged me out of heaven. Oh, you did. Okay, look. I remember back when we were friends, and I didn't take as big interest in your shit. We were at the 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 math floor of the 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 lecture hall where we near where we had uh, our rooms, and uh, you were talking about Buffy. And I remember casually working on like binomial expansion or some shit, and you're like, "By the way, you grabbed me out of heaven." Fuck. And if you're not careful, we're, the game is gonna have to do this. You're almost dead. And we don't want to go through oh, that. Oh, can I use it? Oh, can I use an item? Don't depression. take me. Oh, pick up, pick up, pick up. Eh. What? Oh. 
Oh no, now she's gonna have an orgasm. It's very bad. What, am I turning into a zombie? N no, that, that, that sh to this show's credit, it never does that. It, okay, it never brings her back? No, it never has the, oh, and now one of the main, now one of uh, Buffy's a vampire. Okay, that does it in episode 10, but that was a dream. That was a nightmare's oh, come to life episode. Get stabbed. Can I recommend a um, an alternate history? When The Walking Dead came out, instead of getting The Walking Dead- the Doppelganger Land episode? I don't know. Instead of- Willow's the, in a bonded suit. I like it. What the fuck am I holding? Oh, I gotta crush your skull? Yeah, do it. <laughs> I just picked balls. It up. I just picked, it. <laughs> I a picked up a nearby it's trash can. It's a very can. tiny trash can. No, imagine like instead of a, um, oh, I'm jumping now. That was me on accident, okay. Imagine instead of the Walking Dead we got, we got a Buffy the Vampire Slayer style Walking Dead. Where it was, it was, it was the Walking Dead with the, with the feeling of like, say, Pretty Little Liars. Because that would be the teen, <laughs> that, that would be the teen, uh, like, style of yeah. the day. I mean, or go the other way. What if, the, what if there was a gritty vampire drama with adults? It would be like, uh, Hercules, but with, uh, vampires. <laughs> would that be any good? Uh... You're my you're my showrunner, bro. I, well, okay, it's it's hard to say where where Buffy falls on this. Enough patrolling. Time to head to the bronze. <laughs> I'm having fun. Oh, in case we have to come back, our password is nine MD one W. Oh, this is before. Yeah. Uh, it's a Game Boy Color saving. Game. Yeah. Okay. Later that evening. At the bronze. <laughs> our musical guest today. Notice how on season two they kind of lightened up on. Every episode, let's introduce should, a musical they, guest. They should come back and be like, our musical guest, Snow Patrol. <laughs> Just walk around the vampires, it's fine. Oh. Oh, look at how uh, sad Sarah is. <laughs> how is your patrol? Like Grand Central Station, only with undead instead of commuters. <laughs> you must be covered in vamp dust. <laughs> <laughs> and that stuff never comes out of your clothes. Uh, lots of vamps, huh? Maybe it means something. You know, some kind of evil omen? Sounds Some like a job for everyone's favorite ex-librarian. Season four, he gets fired, and then he has like, a reminiscing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget research boy sitting right here. You can't right, read. Right, and if we need a snack, we'll call you. Fine, mock my highly trained analytical mind. So, am I gonna hate that guy when I see him? It's Xander. Oh, fuck him, I already hate him, great, we're done. Xander's delightful, but he has a lot of fuck ups. So, what's with the day off anyway? Something hellmouthy? Fuck you, surprisingly, no. It's multicultural week on campus. <laughs> what? Okay, this is definitely season four. <laughs> All that extra culture means less time for school, which is fine by me. Things are busy enough as it is. Speaking of which, where were you all day, Willow? Fucking. Well, remember last Thanksgiving? Those, uh, chum, uh, chum ash, chumash. This is, this, is one of the, well, like, this is one of the episode where they try to deal with Native American issues. The Native Americans who came back to life? Hard to forget the spirits of revenge who tried to kill us all. Well, I felt like I should try to make amends, so, you know, for killing them and all. So I volunteered to help out at the celebration. I'm not seeing the connection. I have a really bad Sarah Michelle accent. <laughs> hey, Sorry, I'm just thinking about entire... Spike going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, this is one good scene, though. That's what it just... The ghost turns into a bear and then Spike's... Says... Jesus Christ, start the level before we bitch. The least we can do I'm is help bad encourage... Gasm, I mean, I'm sorry. Gasm during the... You really... summoned a bear! Make it stop! <laughs> Sounds just reasonable, sort of. Good, then you won't mind that I signed everyone up to help. Fuck Undo you! it! Undo it! Well, we all share the burden to blame. Fuck you? Hey, disease guy here thinks we're even now. I gotta go with Xander on this one. Fuck you. No, it'll be fun. The whole Scooby gang working together. I don't understand how it's be all of us being together is fun. And you'll love our Farui. Dr. Farui. <laughs> this uh. whole thing was his idea. There must be a way out of this. Think, brain, think. Come on, it's not that bad. There's even a party at the end. I mean, it usually fits our special musical guest format. Oh god, this is horrible dialogue. And I'm bad. So soon? I gotta put in some OT on the patrolling tonight. You- You just- were <laughs> Okay. Oh. Meanwhile, behind the special guest door. That's where the band enters. Oh, that's how you do- Oh, now we're fighting like street cops. Do 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 He's a double dragon guy. As you, as you do. <laughs> oh, oh, now I gotta go slightly up. Can I jump? Oh, some someday, one day. Ugh. Ooh, gross. I kick you. I'm starting to see why this game didn't do that well. Uh-uh. Lots of lots of just kicking until they fall down. But I mean the writing, am I right? Oh yeah. Oh fuck it, stop picking shit up. I want to <laughs> stab a man. <laughs> uh, what's our fake band playing? Uh, 
the lunar, <laughs> the lunar lice. They, they Ew. In the, okay, the lunar, uh, well, the lunar lesbians. Well, okay, the 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 main band of the series is is Seth Green's is Star band. Star Cruncher. I think it's called uh, Dingo's Ate My Baby. Oh, why do I know that? <laughs> That's like an actual band. I think it might be. Seth Green. Oh God, Mary Elizabeth Winstead is in a is in a band too, and I don't know how to feel about that. Fuck off. You support her and her talents. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I, I I believe in Seth Green. I have different feelings about Seth Green that I have about Mary, so we we deal. Well, okay. You see, I have a weird. Th I'm guessing your first inter introduction to Seth Green was either either through um, Family Guy, Family Guy, or, or like yeah, an Adult Swim race, cartoon. Yeah. Um, Robot Chicken was my main one. Okay, yeah, Robot Chicken worked. To me, every time Stop I see him, biting me. he is always Oz. And ju fair. Just just like Willow is else. not Lily, she's Willow. Uh, and s and Buffy it. is not Daphne, she's Buffy. Uh -huh. And every time I see her in a horror movie, I'm like, just Buffy, just kick the ghost's ass. <laughs> Who's the girl from uh, Ghost Whisper? I have no idea. Okay, that's... Oh, that's, um, now I do. Wait. Uh, uh, Jennifer Love, Love Hewitt? Yeah. It's a really mean Family Guy skit where they draw her with comically large boobs, and it's like, next time on Ghost Whisper. Yeah, all the ghosts just want to talk to me. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Get up. I can stand... Give me one more of those sweet, sweet dialogue scenes, and then I'll be... I'll be on my way. Oh, shit. Is it weird that I have a fetish for Sarah Michelle Gellar fighting noises? She, she, if, she if grunts I, and moans. If I, had, if I had Sarah Michelle Gellar or Mary Elizabeth Winstead fights... <laughs> All, all, I, all she gets to fight is the redhead from Sky High. That Just, movie, that movie, like, can, like, like, Pavlov'd me into weird boners. Ugh. That's weird. I don't, I don't like being Pavlov'd. Oh shit! I got a kick. major, major Pavlov right now, do guys? Yep. <laughs> Look at that side tit. <laughs> these oh. pixels, man. What is the? What are these bad guys? Carried. Is it like supposed to be a studded belt? Because yeah. it looks like a squid's tentacle they're thing. They're training to be Ninja Turtles. <laughs> get fucked. I'm sorry, I can't get this mad at a game like this. Kick, 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 and a kick, and a stab. Giles need to train you more. I'm sorry. Well, yeah. maybe if he didn't get fired. Oh, that's he's, that's the sore part right now. Oh, sorry. He's going through existential crisis. Oh, the, the lights. I had to jump over that, that curb. <laughs> okay. And I'm down. Right now, he's probably you know playing some alternative 70s rock. He's into a 70s rock? That's cool. Thank you. I'm gonna stab. 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 Oh, God, make a fucking yeah, gonna, knife out of kryptonite. God There's damn. episodes in the season four where you see Giles, all of a sudden, he's like, uh, he goes to the bronze and starts playing songs by The Who. And I was like, where's your tweed? And why are you sexy right now? <laughs> uh, some boy, Some girls like him a lot. Some boys like him a lot. I'm starting to like it as I'm rewatching the series. I'm like, you, you, you're, you're, you're really, making me you're, tingle. You're really fucking cool. And then <laughs> when you find out that Giles was also Frankenfurter in the 1980s. What? He, he, he um, Rocky Horror Frankenfurter? Yes, he was in a stage production of oh, Rocky stage, Horror. Oh, okay, that's different. As Frankenfurter and Craig Ferguson was his Frankenstein. You have told me this story many times before. Can I shake you off? Well, the internet needs to know more than it already does. Okay. I'm sure it's out there. Yeah. The internet needs to be this uh, library of Alexandria of sexy 90s men. Come on, get me to Jim's book something. I'll walk over there and kill you. I'll walk over there and stab you. Yeah. Oh, and this guy too. Jesus. This game, uh, not need to be a whole game. Just let me stab and let me go talk to the pixelated friends. Jim's book. It's plural. We have more than one. <laughs> I want that to be my death noise. Barber shop. Clearance sale. Clearance sale where you can buy a bicycle or a shirt. This would be a good part where she'd like, be like, I want to be a teenage girl still. And I want to have, I like fashion. And I like clearance sale. Fuck you, Jesus Christ. Pick up some cola. God damn. Okay, this is getting really easy to beat them. I just sit and then I kick. I wait till they fall over and then I walk over and I stab them. <laughs> <laughs> I figured out what works. They're not going to make me do anything else that doesn't work. And a stab you, and a stab you, and a stab you. And a stab you. Stab you some more. I kick you down. Stab you some more. That time was kind of in the face, whatever it'll do. 
I hate I hate getting stabbed in the face. Like like in the gut. Yeah, there's a lot of protection there, but my face has a lot of important parts. Fuck like, you. Kind of like the cheek. Yeah. Okay. So every time they bring me back to life, that's where your whiskers go. Yeah. And I stab, and I st and I st and I st and you stab. stab. Come on! For fuck's sake! <laughs> uh, a lot of old games had this where you're just walking from point A to point B and bad people show up in just every nook and cranny you could possibly find people. And some places you couldn't find people. Come on, game. Okay, I can like, tell I know the, the point people... of this. Like, I know the point of the show is there's a super pow a girl with super strength, but no one is watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer for the fucking fight scenes. Stop, you're making me hate my show. Just stop it. What do you think happened when I played the Wii game Survivor? <laughs> That's how I feel. That's actually a really good parallel for how I feel right now. Oh, this is just... They just picked a couple names and they're like, those are tribes, right? And they got, like, the rights to, the, like, sort of the likenesses of Colby Donaldson and Amber Burkich and a couple other ones that people care about. What the fuck? Because it would sell. I bought it because I thought it would be funny. I need to do it with more people, though, because I keep voting out my own dick. This, I would rather... This is the... Give me the point where I would rather watch... A re like a rerun of a season one episode. Oh, that's bad. Yes, it is bad. This is very bad. That's not the bad thing to say to your friends. What? Oh, the <laughs> come on! <laughs> no, Superman, don't. That was even like you have like the, the, the like what is it? The Mario I three ending. You, uh, yeah, it's got the yeah. I'm gonna get like a star when I beat this, and it's gonna go right on my super cute crop top. <laughs> Son of a fucking bitch! <laughs> Kick him. Kick him. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> no, it's Going another darkness? window. Okay, please just give me... No, here it comes. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> nope. It, it knows. Boom. Boom. This is getting into season five. She has a death wish territory. <laughs> she just wants it to end. She's tired. She saved the world a lot. Time to die. Oh, here we go. This is boss looking. It's You've come far, but we'll go no further. Sorry, I think Kung Fu is better than yours. Oh, my Kung Fu is better than yours. Okay, how, how is this fight different? Watch. Okay, I can kick him. I can kick him some more. he's a ninja. Oh, eat shit with this ninja. Don't eat my vagina. Behind the garbage can. This is season four, so this is for Riley. For Riley? He's a, Yeah, he's the season four and five boyfriend. Oh. Everyone hates him. He's boring. He's not as cool as Xander. <laughs> she oh, never fuck. fucks Xander. There we go. Xander would love to fuck wow. her. That guy was tough. I'm done for tonight. Give me, <laughs> give me one more of these fucking scenes. I can't. I, oh god, we've been playing this game Next for morning at Buffy's minutes. dorm room with Willow. The, oh, those are cute. Come oh, on, no, no, have, have a little lesbian experimentation with Allison Hannigan. <sighs> She's on the next bed. <sighs> okay, ring sound. Oh, well, hello, whoever this is. Uh, oh, fuck. Well, hello, whoever this is with a really good reason to call. Rude match, Buffy. Cordelia. Well, it's Constantinople. Cordelia, you're at the spinoff at this moment. This must you're with Angel. This must still be a nightmare. And of course, I'm thrilled to be speaking to you, too. Unfortunately, oh God. Unfortunately, my boss happens to have a message for you. Boss would be Angel. You're, you remember him, don't you? Tall, dark, brooding. Goes by Angel. <gasps> I don't get to gather. It's really... <laughs> okay, now you're abusing sarcasm. Stop. So, so sue me. He's it been having be these really, dreams. You know, sarcasm would be nice, but that was not sarcasm. Remember that creepy guy? I'm reading. <laughs> Ethan Rain. Let's see. Kind of short, brown hair. Always lurking around. Kind of has around. sexual tension with Giles. Wreaking havoc on my own life. That's the one. Angel says Ethan is in his dreams holding a book. Maybe he's just getting into the whole self-help craze. Angel thinks uh, it's the book of the ancients. Apparently, it's big on vampire lore. Ethan with a vampire instructional manual? Why do I suddenly feel less safe? Well, Angel thinks you're somehow involved, so at least we're safe here in L.A. Tact is still not a strong Ugh. point of yours. I guess I better get tell Giles about this. Sounds like another job for the Scooby Gang. And we're done. I know. Yeah. Okay, guys. Later that afternoon at Giles' apartment. You know when a spinoff has these <laughs> crossovers that you can tell? This is only so that the, 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 the oh, original girl. show can, like, beef up the audience attention on the on its little baby it's the lead in yeah yeah okay god should we uh, let's just this finish is... it shit so it sounds like ethan is up to his little tricks again does never give that guy ever give up persistence was always one of ethan's strong points and along with spank him again. along with a penchant for a supernatural mischief no points for guessing who who's behind the vamp activity lately so what do we do now ethan could be anywhere i'm going to check out the sewers it's like the vampire super highway of daytime travel fuck you in the meantime we'll investigate this book of the ancients oh. sounds like a plan 
And oh. we're off. Would you like to lead us out? This is probably the sewer where Angel breaks up with her. Oh, well, we're going to avoid the breakup. We're going to move. Oh, we have to go right to left. That's stupid. Bye, everybody. We'll be fighting some zombies here. Bye, everybody. Think they're never going to get together. <laughs>